Hey guys, welcome back. Now I'm getting a lot of inquiries from would-be first-time agents or real estate brokers who are working as agents in their home country and they want to start their career off in Dubai. So I want to give some down-to-earth, straight-from-the-heart advice on the brass tacks, on the basics that they need to survive, thrive and succeed in the Dubai market. Now before I get to the nitty-gritty, show real fast. Okay, welcome back. Check this out. So I'm getting a lot of people as the Dubai market heats up. There's a lot of agents who are, you know, reaching out to me and I'm sure this is happening with other agents in the Dubai market as well, uh, who have a decent social media presence where agents from Canada, South Africa, Pakistan, India, agents who've got experience in the real estate market are looking to move to Dubai to work in real estate, right? Uh, why not, right? Dubai is open for anybody and everybody to come over and succeed, okay? Now, if you want to, there is a six or a five part series, and I hope uh, my team can actually uh, give you the link for agents on how to start well in Dubai, what to do, how to find mentors, etc., etc. It's there, you should go check it, check it out. A lot of my other videos, if you're a new agent already working in Dubai, is all, are also gonna help you out in terms of what it takes to be successful in the Dubai market. But let's talk brass tacks. Let's talk the absolute basics. Uh, you know, for instance, today, uh, somebody reached out to me from India. They've got five years of real estate experience. Uh, what will it take for them to become successful in Dubai? So this is an agent who's already got five years of real estate experience. Somebody else reached out to me and they said, look, uh, I've got a wife, two kids. I'm thinking of moving to Dubai and starting out uh, in real estate. Okay, so what do we have? We have experienced agents and we have completely new people who are looking to start off as their uh, real estate in Dubai as their career. Look, I will never discourage anybody over here because with the right mindset, whether you've got experience or not, whether you're new or not, you can succeed. And that doesn't just apply to Dubai real estate market. It applies to everybody anywhere in any, in any career around the world, right? except maybe uh, some very unique situations, okay? Now let's, I said I'm gonna talk brass bra tacks, so real basics, okay? Here's the thing. If you're going to move to Dubai, or, or if you're already working in Dubai and want to make a shift to the real estate business, here's something that I would like you to consider as a list that you must absolutely have. Number one, you should absolutely, let's use, let's use black, Okay, you should absolutely have six months of money to survive in Dubai, okay? Real estate as a career or a profession, as a broker, there are generally no base salaries, okay? Any company that's worth its salt and knows what it's doing is never gonna give you a base salary, okay? There are some companies sometimes, uh, you know, let's call them new kids on the block. They come over, uh, they've got a big investor with a lot of money. They'll give you some salaries, but you know, then that company sometimes might not be worth working with or for because they don't know what they're doing. Therefore, you're going to end up wasting time. Now, essentially speaking, you should have six months of money in your kitty, whether you're in Dubai and moving into the real estate profession or if you're moving to Dubai. Now, you might ask me, what does six months mean, right? What does six months of uh, money mean? Hey, everybody's standard of living is different. So you could potentially survive in Dubai at 3,000, 6,000, 9,000, 12,000, 15,000. That's going to be totally up to you, okay? Identify what your living style is and then multiply that by six and that's the amount of money you absolutely must have 
in your pocket okay now for those people who say they've got five years of worth of experience uh in real estate in their present country i'd imagine they're successful they know what they're doing there's they should have this kind of money available and why it's so super important is because look in the dubai market when you're new even if you've lived and born and raised in dubai it doesn't matter it's going to take you approximately three to six months to start becoming successful to start getting your you know wheels off the ground so on and so forth number two as a real estate agent the number one thing that you must do even though one is there but number one thing you must do and there are two things you must do over here is essentially speaking you should have a car and a rira license okay and i'm going to address this as first i'm going to talk about number three and then i'm going to talk about company okay here's the thing let's talk about company first and then we'll come back to car and rira when you come to dubai essentially speaking there's maybe uh, about five or six good top tier companies they're huge they're good they know what they're talking about then there's tons and tons of companies in the middle range and there's there's a lot of companies at the absolute bottom range okay the absolute bottom you need to avoid uh, the absolute top you might not get hired if you can't go through the interview process somewhere in the middle to the top is where you should be aiming to start out with what do i mean okay in dubai okay now let's link point number two to point number three as a realtor imagine you're a carpenter and as a realtor there's two things that are super important what are two things that are super important to a carpenter i'm going to say a hammer and nails right without a hammer and nail you know you're not really a carpenter as an agent or a real estate broker in the dubai market or anywhere almost a car is going to be super super important right and your real estate regulatory license okay these two things kind of go hand in hand because if you don't have a car you can't take your clients to viewings you can't show up to appointments on time and then you kind of like stuck so while you should have this much money to survive while you stop bringing the money in you should choose a company because here's the here's the kick kicker you can't start driving a car on a local driving license unless you have a proper company that gives you something called a dubai residence visa okay this is super critical okay so as i said there's the top six seven companies uh they're looking for experience local experience if if it's not too difficult hey try to get into one of those or the middle tier okay the lower tier avoid them because essentially speaking what they're going to do the lower tier is not going to give you the company residence visa therefore you can't get the car and you can't get the rear license and the analogy of a carpenter uh, essentially speaking a carpenter without nails and a hammer is pretty useless a real estate agent it's difficult i'm not going to say useless but i'm going to share one example of a story of somebody who made it without a car but the first thing or the fastest thing you must do is you have to get a car uh, and your rear license now okay uh, apart from living expenses you should have car expenses and you should have a phone or phone expenses so you could pay your mobile phone now I'm going to, as I said, look, if you really, really want to uh, check out like how to find a mentor, the kind of mindset you have, you need to have, there's tons of other videos for agents and we'll link them or just, just search for Dawood, my name agent and you'll find them. But these are the absolute basics you must have. Be able to survive for six months with this budget per month. You select your budget. Okay. There are people who are okay here. There are people who are okay here. A car and rear license is an absolute must and you can only get that if a company that hires you, they're not going to give you a salary, but they should give you a residence visa so you can get this and this. Now, can you survive without this? Without this is kind of illegal, so I'm not going to talk about this, but can you survive without a car? Now, here's the thing. In Dubai, there are certain areas where you could focus to work as an agent. And uh, let's take, for example, Business Bay, okay? Business Bay is an amalgamation or a big area of, I don't know, maybe about 300 or so buildings, 150 commercial buildings, etc., so on and so forth. What does that mean? If you were to just focus in one small area, you could survive, you could thrive without a car. 
This is one of my close friends' story, okay? We will not name him, maybe I'll interview him uh, at a future date. Uh, 2015, I see him start, he moves from India to Dubai. He's a very mature person, he's, you know, I think he was 48 at that time, okay? 48 years old. He moves to Dubai and he decides to focus in just the business bay area. Um, without a car right he has no car okay he's waiting to get his deals in place so he can get a car uh, and you know all his viewings he would go he would use public transport he might walk might take a taxi so on and so forth today if you focus in the business bay downtown area you know scooters are in vogue you could probably use them yes it's a little hot but hey my friend did it and here's his story i think in the beginning he closed one deal two three a rental and i think in the sixth to ninth month he sold uh, a commercial office so he focused he sold a commercial office worth uh, 16 to 20 million dirhams okay i think total commission might have been approximately 100k to 200k uh, from which you know, at 100K, he would have walked away with 50K. At 200K, he would have walked away with 100K. So in about six to nine months dedication, with this kind of investment put in place, he had good company, good uh, people supporting him with the visa and everything. He essentially made this. But however, he, you know, 48, I'm not going to say he's old. He was mature. He was mentally mature and he stuck to his game plan, right? He didn't give up. He focused in one area. It was business bay if you want to know uh and he just wouldn't give up right and he chose commercial real estate uh as as if you'd like me to interview him uh i'm happy to do that okay so essentially speaking guys look for fluffy or for mindset videos there are video videos out there i've put them if you want to become an agent but if you want to start this is where you should be this is very critical this is very critical this is up to you this you cannot do without a company in place that will give you a visa, okay? Hope this helps. Obviously, if you've got more questions, put them in the comment section uh, and I'll try to answer them. All right, ciao for now. Bye. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. My name again is Fahad Daud. I've been doing this for 14 plus years. I started in 2006 in Toronto, Canada, and since 2007, I've been doing this in Dubai. I generally talk about real estate, your life, my life, and our path to allowing financial bliss coming to us. If you want to work with me, such as buy a property in Dubai or you need general advice, you can hit me up on the con in the contact form below. If you've liked this video, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, press the bell icon and hit the like button and share it with other friends. Ciao for now.